Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Tailspin for the NES. A fun game by Capcom. What is it with me and Capcom games anyway? This game is based off the Tailspin series from the that was made by Disney, it appeared on the Disney Afternoon, and on I think it was on Toon Disney for a while. I'll kind of get into the history of the show, but first I'll go over the gameplay mechanics. And, uh, as for that other fun, in quotes, game I was going to do, that's coming. I've been having some trouble recording it. I might bring in a second player for it, I don't know. It's a terrible game, I'll just say that now. Um, so anyway, this game, uh, is a shoot 'em up It does bear some... Maybe one or two similarities to UN Squadron, which was also made by Capcom, so... This game is very different from the SNES version of Tailspin. That one is a platformer. This one is fun shoot 'em up style. Not very long, and that other one's made by Sega. This one is Capcom. Uh, as you can see, you can fly forward and shoot. You can also use this unique mechanic which will let you defy gravity and flip back, you know, flip upside down and fly backwards or in the other direction and somehow you don't fall out of your mini sea duck, which is the name of your little uh, plane here. It's a small version of the sea duck which was the cargo plane on the show, but I'll get into that uh, soon enough. Ow! You also notice you have up there in the corner, you have three hearts. For now. Ah! Damn, I'm getting destroyed here. Uh... And so unlike other shoot 'em ups you don't, uh... You don't die instantly by getting shot once. And you don't find power-ups throughout the stage. You collect, uh, cargo, money bags, and fruit for points, and... The more points you get, the more money you'll get, and... Or, play more of the other random stuff you find, you'll get more money at the end of a stage, and then you can go and buy some new parts like a better gun or a faster, a faster sea duck or a extra life, which is pretty good, and you don't lose that when you die. And that's Kit Cloud Kicker in the bonus stage. I'll explain that the next time, because there's a couple in the first level. Whoa! There's Don Carnage, the main villain, one of the main villains from the show, and uh, you can't hurt him right now. And because I'm almost dead, I'm going to have to do something to keep myself from not becoming extinct. Here we go. These hearts will refill your uh, life. There's small ones that will refill one, and the big ones refill everything. These mystery containers contain random fruit. Different fruits have different values. Strawberries are worth a thousand. Bananas are worth 500, and so on. So anyway, Tailspin was a series on the Disney Afternoon. First aired in uh, 1990, and it was originally supposed to feature Launchpad from uh, what is it? Ducktales is the main character, just like Darkwing Duck was also supposed to be Launchpad. Which is was Launchpad really that popular? They kept trying to base series series around him, and uh, of course they kept changing it. And in this change, they went with. Uh, some characters from the Jungle Book movie, and, uh, however, the setting is completely different. They're obviously not in the jungle anymore. They're flying planes and running businesses. Louie's in this series, uh, Baloo and Sheer Khan. And, um, oh, here we go. I'll explain this. This bonus round, auto-scroll to the right, and, uh, you just basically pop balloons and collect whatever fruit's inside, and it's usually coupled with one-ups. If you get squashed here by the screen scrolling, the bonus stage is over. You don't lose a life, but the bonus stage will end. And this, there are two versions, you've already seen both of them, and the second one here is a bit harder. I don't think there's any way to get all the fruit on the second one, unless, well, there's no way to go any faster. You go to standard speed on this. The controls are a bit tight. Uh, but anyway, uh, Blue the bear from the Jungle Book is the main character of the series now, and uh, he works for the Hire for Hire company under the uh, under Rebecca Cunningham, 
And ow. Pain. Ooh, get that heart. Uh, Kit Cloud Kicker is a navigator and a former air pirate. Kit is the character you play as in the bonus stages. And, um... The Sea Duck never had a gun in the series, and it was much bigger. So... I don't know how they decided to go along with making it smaller and have a one gun that can only fire one bullet at a time, which luckily you can upgrade, but it's pretty hard to use for anything at this point. Especially when you have to fire stuff to open up bonus areas and... Ah. It's very hard to maneuver and avoid things when it's this slow, too, and this submarine is the boss. Not very hard, although I'm letting it kick the crap out of me for some reason. Oh, and the boss fight's over. I'll spread more tidbits about the series as we go through the videos. The game is not long. And, uh, it's very fun, though. I enjoyed it, and, uh, I do have the cartridge for this. If I ever do a collection video, I'll show it. Ah, Wildcat, I believe this character's name is. And, unfortunately, we didn't get that much money. Uh, Wildcat was the mechanic on the show and repaired the Sea Duck a bit stupid, but he did know his way around a wrench. And this is the shop. We always get to visit the shop after uh, after completing a stage, and however much money we have, we can spend. Now, these are the things that are available to us. Parts for the engine will make us faster. Continue memo will let us use a continue if we run out of lives. Parts for the body will uh, give us one more heart. These two will be available multiple times. Uh, super rapid shot, we can't afford. We're gonna buy the regular rapid shot, which will let us fire two bullets instead of just one. This one will let us fire three or four, I forget which. Uh, but let's get this now, and then we're gonna end this video. So that is the end of this, and uh, of course I will talk more about the show as we go through it, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this little Let's Play. So see you guys later, thanks for watching.